So unwrapping today, Candy Base by Marin Kazari, or Marin Candyman Kazari, if you will. Um, the thing is, is that a lot of, the, like I said, a lot of the people Gearbox grabbed to make the maps for the multiplayer portion of this game were industry vets, as far as I'm aware. Um, I'm not sure what Marin, or if Marin ever, like, actually, who they worked for or anything like that. I couldn't really find any information. I do know they seem to be fairly active, at least, in the uh, Quake community. And the map here, Candy Base was actually a map they made in Quake that I understand was pretty well liked called Candy Base. And as far as I've seen from screenshots and stuff like that, um, I think it's exactly the same. Just obviously they updated the weapons to be like Half-Life compliant. Um, as for the map itself, I quite enjoy playing it though. I do find some of the navigation a little bit confusing, maybe because it was built with, you know, rocket jumping and like, you know, things like that in mind. But, you know, I still quite, like, you know, I think it's still very enjoyable to hop in and shoot some people in it. Alright, so good. They started me in the water area. This is, like, there's tiers to this map. It's very vertical in the sense of there's a lot of different, like, levels to it. So if you start in the water level here, take note that you can actually take an elevator up if you want. Which is really helpful. And that'll get you to one of the higher tiers. But for now, we're gonna go and jump right back down. As you can see, that's what I mean. Um can be a little bit overwhelming when you first play it but obviously it becomes second nature like every map the more you play it so it's not too much of a worry anyway so if you're in this water area here you can find actually some stuff hidden i think maybe just a health kit but i swear i picked up a charger down here before too like a battery charger uh there's a little nook here with some really nice stuff obviously check that out and if you were to come this way make sure if you're down here you go to this corner asap because you're probably going to need healing from getting shot at. And then you need to come over... This is a pretty dark map, too. Somewhere. I just forgot where it is, but I swear that... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get the SMG here. That's what I was looking for. And obviously, get out of here. Don't try... Unless you have strong weapons, don't stick around here. Because you're just going to get shot by a bunch of SMGs and stuff like that. But yeah, if you don't start here, or if you're moving up, you got a couple ways to go. This is a teleporter. I'll show that off in a bit. First, though, I want to go up this way. And if you do enter the teleporter, make sure you grab the shotgun first. Always a good time. Or just grab the shotgun in general. You know, that tends to be a good thing to do in a game like this. Um, you got, Like I said, you got a lot of different areas to go to, come from. You can get back down to here from the higher areas. Uh, here's a pro tip. Just crouch, kind of let the momentum carry you and crouch so you can grab the long jump, which normally you can only get from this nook over here. Well, obviously, you want to get that ASAP. And you can come up here to get to one of the higher levels. So that's something. But we're actually going to go down and go this way first. Here, you can, like, you know, see down to the lower area. Throw some grenades if you want or do what you will. Grab the Magnum, too, so you can start sniping people. And then this will lead you to, like, the other lowest area, I kind of view it. Where, if you're here, you can grab the rocket launcher and start raining some hot death down to those below you. You can also go up to one of the higher levels from here. Staying here, you can see you can grab it, jump across to grab the barnacle, which is, this is a map isn't too good for it because there's not a lot of, there's a, actually, as far as I'm aware, basically no way to, nowhere to actually like, you know, latch onto the map. So you're basically stuck with other ways of getting around. Not a deal breaker though, still useful. You can use an elevator again to get back up, which I got to mention too, I think the elevators are way too damn loud in this map. You know, I, I would have made that a little bit quieter, but oh well. So yeah, you can get over here. If you come from this side, which you can jump across, obviously, pretty easy from over there. Uh, here's some ways to go. That's where we got the long jump. You could also go around to get up to this area here from and, like, you know, get back down if that's what you want to do. I guess you can also do that, too, if you're just not confident in crouch jump, uh, crouch falling onto there. Which uh, you can also get back up to. Grab the shock trooper if you get it. If you can, take that elevator, go back down real quick. And there's some shenanigans in the water we'll take a look at real quick. Uh, obviously, this is where most of the... Sp Actually, I think all of the spore ammo is in this map. Which ties into my feeling of the barnacle not being that useful. Because there's no place to latch on and fall from. But, you're guaranteed to get the, sp the spore if you spawn here. Because there's a mid-air spawn here. You'll fall down and grab it immediately. So that's a little interesting. I, don't, I wouldn't have done that necessarily. But, you know. At least it prevents you from getting your ass handed you in the water real quick. And I don't think I really need to tell anyone... <laughs> that if there's a lot of people in the water, you have the shock trooper, and you want a nice set of easy, cheap kills, yeah, definitely load that off in the water. No problem. No shame. 
I wouldn't blame you. Grab another shotgun up here, too. And you could actually fall down here if you want to grab some, uh, uh, AR, uh, SMG grenades. Which I think would be more helpful down here, but then again, people would just start spamming the SMG grenades from down there. And, you know, ruin the fun! The fun for everyone else, so you don't want that. I'll take the teleporter now, and I'll quickly get you up to one of the top platforms. Which we'll take a look at now. So, yeah. There's that, uh, one, uh, elevator I showed earlier. That's how you can get up to here. And that's the spawn to the spore from here, but from the other direction, or, like, you know, the proper way. Whatever you want to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Obviously, here's the, like, you know, you can get up here. And if you go around this way, you got some nice stuff to grab here. <laughs> I do believe that there are some satchel charges that you can raid down here, but obviously someone's grabbed them. If you go this way... It's how you can get up from this direction I showed earlier. Grab the rocket launcher, of course, always. And if you get up here, you get a ton of nice stuff. You get, the, obviously, the sniper. But you can also, after not pressing the wrong button, grab the machine gun. And here's another elevator from the Claymore area earlier. Keep that in mind. And yeah, it basically wraps around itself at this point. Last thing to point out is, obviously, the gauze. Which you kind of got to do... <laughs> A very particular jump to grab. It's not the most impossible thing to do. But, you know, especially in the heat of the moment, there's a very good chance you're not going to do it on your first go. Or your second go, because I'm a fucking troglodyte. Can I do third? Is third time the charm? Let's find out. It isn't fucking... Anyway, yeah, that's, um... That's candy base. Very solid stuff. You get some real, like, sick sniper shots in this map if you know what you're doing. Which I probably won't because I suck at sniping, but you know. I mean, that's really every map in general, but I just, just feel something about the way this map is, like, verticality plays in. Just, like, you know, tends to do, you know, you can find some really interesting spots. Obviously, I didn't bring it up, too. You could be gauze jumping everywhere, too. I don't know what the hell that jump was about, but, you know. Oh! Yeah, just to show off from the Half-Life video I did on this one. Like, default Half-Life. See, satchels work fine here. I don't know why they fuck out in normal Half-Life. Oh, I am a monster this round. Oh my goodness. Can I even take Goku down? Let's do this. Trying to hit me with your dragon fist. I don't think so. Oh, that is sheer brutality. I am the Super Saiyan 512 God dude guy. Oh, this is just violence. Hunting season. Oh, Goku, I am just fucking bullying him. I'm freezing on Namek. Jesus. Ah, <laughs>